The original X-Men animated series went on from 1992 to 1997 for five seasons. That's why the new show is titled X-Men 97 and picks things up right where the first installment had left them. Of course, the professor is dead and the rest of the X-Men are trying their best to make sense of things. With their mentor gone, Cyclops picks up the reins of the surviving mutants, but in comes Magneto with a will from Professor X, which says that he's to lead the team in the latter's absence. Now, that's the basic premise of the show, but that's not what we are here to discuss. We've gathered here today to discuss the possibility and rumors about a possible Spider-Man entry into X-Men 97. How likely is it? Well, pretty likely. I'll give you a hint. An insider on the show did not outrightly deny Spidey's cameo in 97. So, let's explore why exactly I am willing to put my money on this rumor. A possible Easter egg. The first and foremost sign telling us that the Web Slinger may appear in the new Marvel show was a Spider-Man headline in a print of the Daily Bugle in X-Men 97's first episode. I am sure you know that the Daily Bugle is the very newspaper that criticizes Spider-Man at every possible opportunity, and when the newspaper and its main man, J. Jonah Jameson, don't get the opportunity, they create it out of thin air, calling our hero names like Spider Menace and whatnot. So, if Spidey has appeared in a newspaper headline on 97, it is quite possible that we may see him in a cameo later on. And we have reason to believe that this might just be true. In fact, there could be very many cameos, but more on this in the third. Oh, nuts. A history of crossovers. So, yeah, I did not make this video just because of speculations, right? I mean, X-Men and Spider-Man stories have crossed over many times in the comics, and that's exactly what happened in the original show. You see, back in the day, Spider-Man needed some help with his ever-progressing mutations. Who did he reach out to? Well, of course, the mutants. In fact, they even had an abridged version of the Secret Wars saga, which was to feature Spider-Man leading a team of heroes against a group of villains. Hey, speaking of a comic book saga, did you check out our new channel called Marvelous Long Reads, which deals only with long-form videos on comic books, do give it a visit. Coming back to our video, this smaller version of the Secret War saga could not be executed in the manner it was envisaged because bringing the voice actors from Canada to Los Angeles was an expensive business and, back in the day, Marvel wasn't what it is today. So, only Storm was featured along with Spidey Boy because Storm's actor Iona Morris used to live in LA. So yeah, if it happened once, it can happen again, right? And now, for the juiciest bit of the video, we went through an interview that Brad Winderbaum, the Marvel Studios head of TV, streaming, and animation, recently gave to popular websites Screen Rant and Men's Health. Back, Mesmero. Who is this guy? What's going on? This worm uses its mutant powers against the human race. The inside man does not deny the possibility. Winderbaum, of course, agreed that X-Men, the animated series, was a bigger part of a shared universe with Marvel animated TV shows during the period it was produced in. So, X-Men obviously had several other superhero teams and villains sharing their world. While some of these did not appear on the show, the others did. He also said that X-Men 97 could very well follow the same path as its predecessor, and we could not be happier. When asked about a possible cameo or cross over, he had this to say, if you remember the awesome cameos from the original show, you're going to be happy in X-Men 97 without going into spoiler territory. And let's be real, Captain Carter did go from what if to multiverse of madness. Marvel is known for some great and exciting crossovers, and I would not be surprised if Spider-Man or some other hero jumps into X-Men 97, Spider-Man. The animated series was one of the best shows that featured Peter Parker. With X-Men 97 showing promise, a Spider-Man 98 could be an ideal spin-off. But hey, that's just me. What do you think? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.